We're talking today about the Cowboys offense versus the Vikings defense. And I can start today with asking you our general question because this defense to me seems kind of like they're very, very just middle of the road. So tell me, what is the best thing that they do and the thing, the way that they're most vulnerable? You know, here's the thing. This is the worst defense that Mike Zimmer's ever had up in Minnesota. And that's because he's created such a high standard for pr production and performance on that side of the ball. Uh, but this is the worst when it comes to total defense, scoring defense. Uh, they're down at the bottom of the pack. That said, they started to play well the last few weeks. And I will say the guy that we always talk about will be Eric Kendricks. Because Eric Kendricks is the leader in the middle of the defense. He's a traffic cop. He's the one that kind of handles all the communication, making sure that everyone is lined up. But his partner, Eric Wilson, is an absolute stud. Uh, three sacks, three interceptions, a um, couple of forced fumbles and fumble recoveries. He is all over the field. And so I would say what is different about this version of the Vikings, in the past it has always been about their front four and who they have up front. They have some decent guys up front. But these second-level defenders, Wilson and Kendricks, they are the ones that get it done. And they've been able to incorporate a bunch of young guys in the secondary. And so it's still a work in progress, but it's a defense that is trending upward after getting off to a very, very slow start. Just tell me how much or how concerned I should be about the quarterback situation in this game. Well, I mean, I think you always have to be concerned about the backup quarterback starting and then what Kellen Moore is going to do to help him. If Kellen Moore treats... Andy Dalton, like he's Dak Prescott, and they throw the ball 40 to 45 times. It's a recipe for disaster because Mike Zimmer is going to take away Ezekiel Elliott, and he probably has Tony Pollard high on the priority sheet to slow him down, and he wants to put the game on Andy Dalton's shoulders. And with the offensive line still being relatively inexperienced, they want to go with that double-A gap look. They're going to show pressure. They're going to fall out. They're going to bring some pressure, and they're going to put a lot of heat on the quarterback and so it's really important that Dallas is balanced that they're able to have some semblance of a running game so they don't get into a traditional straight drop back passing game because you don't want to face Mike Zimmer when he's dialing it up and being the mad scientist um, as a play caller.